developed a alternative solution to the N95 mask that we think is fairly easy to produce. I wanted to share that with you. This provides uh, equivalent filtration and can also meet or pass the, uh, the fit test. Uh, we're going to be starting with uh, basically your standard anesthesia mask or BBM mask. This has uh, a form-fitting uh, pillow on the back side that fits to a variety of sizes and shapes of faces. faces. These come in different sizes as well, so be, be aware of that. On the front is a port. This port, the outer diameter, is the same as a three-quarter inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe. So we can use uh, standard PVC fittings to attach to the front of the mask. We started out using a standard three-quarter inch to two inch Schedule 40 PVC bushing. Uh, this is to be obtained at any hardware store in the PVC section. Uh, costs you know less than two dollars to, to get. Uh, this basically fits right on here due to the similar diameters or dimensions. Uh, and then we can essentially attach a filter fabric to the end of this uh, using just rubber bands that basically seals that material around the edge so we don't have any flow around the edge of that. Found that this was maybe a little bit small, a little bit restrictive. The cross-sectional area here is about three square inches. May not be enough for a filter material. material. So we designed a 3D printed part that basically increased our uh, surface area. Uh, you can see here we have an example here uh, of the part. Uh, we essentially here have expanded the, the outer diameter from about 2 inches to about 2.8 inches, giving us about uh, 6.3 square inches of surface area here. Uh, we can then, uh, we have the same uh, internal diameter here so that it fits onto the BBM mask uh, just as the, um, there we go. We can attach the material in this case, we're going to be using the Halyard H600, two layers of that. This is commonly referred to as uh, surgical wrap or sterile wrap. We're just going to pull that material over it. Wrap a couple rubber bands around here and then pull it tight, making sure that the material goes around the lip that extends uh, around the edge of the, the, the mask there or edge of the part snug and just pull that material down tight. Put a second one on here. And just make sure those rubber bands are pulled up tight to that lip uh, so that it really holds that material snug and pull the material down tightly onto the, uh, the end of the, the part there. We can then just take a pair of scissors or a razor blade and basically trim that up to clean it up some. Fairly quickly trim that up and we have a nice uh, sort of clean filter that can go on there. Well, uh, now to attach this to the face, a couple of things to keep in mind, the, uh, the BBM mask has a pillow here, you can adjust the pressure here to uh, improve the fit, either reducing the air or increasing the air. Um, they usually come, or they can come, I guess, with these, uh, these clips or these octopus uh, that go over the porthole. If you have elastic straps, that can help to tie it to the back of the head. Otherwise, what we can also do is take a general uh, typical, typical mask, cut a hole in the center of that, put that over the port, Finish filter, that on there. Get it all the way down to the mask. So you can see the mask is now attached to my face. This is sort of a low profile, it's not obstructing my vision. And I can wear this with a shield. So this is intended to be worn with a shield in front of the mask to protect it from getting contaminated. If it does get contaminated though, it can quickly be swapped out for a pre-made um, 
filter that's ready to go as well, just like that, or the material can be changed out if that material gets contaminated uh, and be reused. Um, we do recommend that if you make your own, uh, one of these masks that you do get at N95 fit tested at your institution to meet whatever standards are there at your, um, at your facility. Uh, thank you for watching and please share this with anyone that may find it valuable.